morning, everybody. Welcome to Vox Day CERN. This is the third edition. Huh? We, we thought we might never make it, right? The last edition. How many of you have been at the last edition, actually? Oh, wow. Okay, so I would say like 30% of the room already. So that's, that's nice. Um, right. Well, given that the pandemic kind of put a hold on our plans to organize new Vox Days editions, we finally got the strength and the money <laughs> and the building to organize a new Vox Days event for you guys. Now, let's start with a bit of an icebreaker. Have you seen the speaker cards by any chance, right? You've seen the nice little circle. That's the CMS inner tracker, right? So it's like a very fancy bit of electronics inside the CMS experiment, which looks a bit like that, right? However, some of you metalheads might also know that <laughs> Megadeth plagiarized us, and uh, <laughs> they uh, used the same image as the album cover. Now, the question is, do we intend a lawsuit or anything? Well, the answer is probably no, because this is from 2013. I assume they got rights from CERN. If they didn't, I'm expecting a call from Megadeth later today. <laughs> All right, so talking about uh, Vox Days, we have an amazing lineup. We have 35 speakers this year, which is double than the amount that I can count on my hands. Uh, and they're world class, they're amazing. Let's give a shout out to all of them. A nice little clap. <laughs> Thank you so much for making the event possible, guys, because without you, there wouldn't be any Vox Days. So yeah, we really appreciate everything that you're doing. Next. Schedule. Um, you're going to see alternating in the left screen is for Auditorium B, the right screen is for Auditorium C. When you come up the stairs, you're going to see the schedule alternating with whatever next talk is going to happen in that auditorium, right? So you're, you're not going to be confused. At lunchtime, we're going to have the schedule shown in Auditorium A, there where we have the coffee, the coffee welcome, right? Um, a bit of org stuff. Uh, we have some lunch talks as well, right? So during the lunch, we have 15-minute sessions uh, with certain speakers talking about various interesting things that they're working on. So try not to all pile up for lunch immediately after the end of the first, uh, well, the first session of talks, because then it's going to be a bit crowded, right? So maybe wait a bit in the auditorium, wait for the 15-minute talk, and then when the talks are over, you have a break in order to go for lunch, okay? Right, so that's day one. Uh, at 6 p.m., we're going to have a meet and greet session. And then the most important stuff, right? You see there that at lunchtime, there's also the guided tour badge distribution, right? So those of you which are among the 100 which bought the first tickets, please present yourself at the reception. The visit service will give you your badges, okay? Um, and then there's going to be a bit more information in the next slide about the guided tours that are going to happen on Tuesday, okay? So, yeah. Then day two is basically like day one, just with less meet and greets, right? Uh, and the keynote from Venkat at the end. Now, a bit of orientation, right? So you might have seen this in your information mail. If you haven't, then you can go to visit.cern slash getting dash here, okay? And we're in number two there, the one which is in green, right? The rest of the science gateway is closed today, right? So you won't be able to access the rest of the exhibitions, but starting tomorrow, you're gonna have full access. So whenever you're feeling tired about the talks or anything like that, you can just go and see the exhibitions around or uh, go to the CERN shop, buy yourself something nice, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, in terms of reception, you've probably seen it. We have Red Hat as our sponsor and we have the cloakroom next to the reception desk at the entrance. Sorry for the very civil engineering uh, photo that I put there, but yeah. <laughs> um, and then this is level one, right? So right now I'm on level one. The guys which are at the top of the auditorium are on level two, right? From level two, tomorrow you're going to have a tunnel which allows you to access the Science Gateway exhibitions directly, okay? There's going to be somebody at the tunnel checking for your badges. Don't forget your badge, otherwise they won't let you back in, okay? Cool. So. What I said, the corridor is over there on the diagram. Uh, it's closed on Monday, fully accessible on Tuesday. And there are three exhibitions that you can 
browse around freely. Discover CERN, our universe, and quantum world, okay? So I'm pretty sure there's something to learn for everybody. There's stuff from ages five to 99, so I know some of the speakers came with their families. You're welcome to bring them over and explore the Science Gateway, okay? And additionally, there are guided tours organized by the visit service, okay? So on number one in the diagram over there, there's the visitor's reception for the Science Gateway, the one which is close today, the one that you just passed by when you were coming here. You go there and you're going to be able to see the schedule for tomorrow, tomorrow morning at nine when they open up. So if anybody wants to still go on a guided tour and they didn't get in any of the slots, there are visits organized by the visit service. So just a piece of information for you there. And you can ask them directly about that because I don't know their schedule. The Sun Shop is open on Tuesday, like I said. You have a 10% 10, 10 discount on everything. You just need to show your badge, okay? So that's simple. And then there's something called the Big Bang Cafe. So if you're feeling snackish, there's uh, across the reception that you just registered on, on the other side of the square, you're going to find the Big Bang Cafe. There are two use cases of the Big Bang Cafe, right? One, you get something to eat. Two, you use the lockers there because you have like these electronic lockers that you can use to close your precious stuff inside there, right? There are about, I don't know, 100 and something lockers, so there's plenty of space for people. If you use it, please remember that you need to take them out before 6 p.m., otherwise they're gonna be locked inside there until tomorrow, okay? Cool, so, and you can read more about it on visit.cern slash Big Bang Cafe, okay? Guided tours. So Monday and Tuesday, this is what we have for you. Monday fully booked, okay? So at 5 p.m. and 6 p.m., be at the reception at the time. You're going to be split in two groups, like the mail said, right? So 24 people will be going to one part of the visit, 24 people to the other part of the visit, and then we swap, right? Uh, on Tuesday, we still have some availability for the guided tour, and it's going to be at 12 p.m. So from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. If you want to take part of that, you can come at the reception at lunchtime and ask about it, okay? And we're gonna register it on a first come, first serve basis, okay? The badges are going to be these blue CERN badges, not these ones, right? That you're gonna be receiving at lunchtime. So if you're on the tours already and you know that, you come to the reception and you pick up your badges, okay? And we're not waiting for anybody. So if you're not there, we're gonna leave and that's it, unfortunately, okay? So, thank you very much. Uh, I'm inviting our keynote speakers, uh, Derek and Sophia, and I wish you a great event. <laughs>